video is going to explain the different exclusions that a head teacher can consider when making his or her decision. There are three types of exclusion, permanent, fixed term and lunchtime exclusions and there are different rules that apply when considering each type. At the end we will discuss unlawful exclusions and what to do when this occurs. We'll start with permanent exclusions. This is commonly referred to as being expelled. It is the most serious disciplinary action available to head teachers and if the decision is upheld, the pupil will no longer be allowed to attend the school and will have to be educated elsewhere. This type of exclusion should only be used as a last resort and there is a strict legal rule that head teachers can only permanently exclude a pupil if certain conditions are met. For more information on these conditions, see this video. Where a pupil is permanently excluded, the governing body will consider the exclusion decision at a hearing and choose whether or not to uphold that decision. Our next type is a fixed term exclusion, which is where a pupil is excluded for a set number of days before returning to the school. Days in this context means school days. It is possible for a pupil to be excluded for one or more fixed periods up to a maximum of 45 school days in a school year. If the pupil's exclusion means that they will be excluded for a total of 15 days or more in a term, the governing body must meet to consider that decision. This 15 days can be in a row or a number of shorter exclusions that add up to 15 school days. Once the governing body receives notice of this exclusion, it must arrange to meet within the next 15 days. If the pupil's exclusion means that they are excluded for less than 15 days but more than 5 days in a term, the parents of the child have the right to request a governing body meeting. If they do so, the governing body must meet to consider the decision within 50 days of receiving notice. If the total number of days a pupil is excluded is less than 5 days in a term, the governing body do not have to meet. However, the parents can still express their views and make written representations to the governing body. But the governing body do not have the power to overturn such a short exclusion. If you would like to know more information on the governing body's role, please go to this video. Our third type of exclusion is the lunchtime exclusion, where a pupil is excluded from the school's premises over the lunch period. This can be because that pupil's behaviour is disruptive over lunchtime. One lunchtime counts as a half day for the purposes of calculating your school days for a fixed term exclusion. For example, if you're excluded for 20 lunchtimes in a term, this would count as the equivalent of 10 school days. All the same rules and procedural requirements for this exclusion should be followed, just like the other types of exclusion. Finally, we come to informal and unlawful exclusions. All informal exclusions are actually unlawful. In all three types of exclusion, it is important that the head teacher fulfills all their legal requirements, such as notifying the parents in the correct format and sending notice to the local authority and the governing body. This video here has more information on the procedural requirements of exclusion. It is unlawful for a pupil to be sent home from school and told not to come back. Equally, inviting a child to withdraw from the school would also count as an informal exclusion. Other types of unlawful exclusion include excluding for a non-disciplinary reason, for example being pregnant. If you think you or your child has been informally or unlawfully excluded, we recommend that you seek legal advice. Some information on doing this can be found in the description box below. Thank you for watching this short video on school exclusions. The links for all the videos mentioned can be found in the description box below. We hope that you've enjoyed the video and you found the information that you were looking for. If not, please visit our YouTube channel and watch our other videos for more information on school exclusions. Bye!